Come together for an exciting episode of ABBA News today. Let's talk about Frida's newest appearance in public, Björn's Diary, and Agneta's new single from today. Hey, hey! So, Agneta released a brand new single today, I Should Have Followed You Home. We know the song, but this is the new version from her upcoming album A+, which is released very soon in just two weeks from today. After the lead-off single from a few weeks ago, the brand new song Where Do We Go From Here, we now get the first single of one of the old songs, but completely redone with new clothes. This new version is very rhythmic, kind of a Brazilian bossa nova style, and relaxed, adding new hooks and jazz vibes with saxophone and castanets. The backing track to me is minimalistic, but yet energetic. I love how their lead vocals are really upfront in this new version, bringing home the nature of the song of being a pure duet. We even get to hear Agneta's voice in isolation for a brief a cappella moment. The choice of song is interesting to be a lead single introducing the new versions of A+, because this song, Agneta's duet with Gary Barlow, was already a single in 2013. More people are familiar with it and people will compare it with the old version for sure. For me, it's astonishing how the same song can sound so diverse and how we now have two versions of the same song which are completely different to each other. What is very important to understand is that these are no remixes. The versions on A Plus are new recordings, new versions of the old songs, only using the original vocals from 2013, but the instrumental backing tracks are completely new with new arrangements. A Plus will be released in two weeks and we will dive deep into this project with some very special and exclusive content coming on this channel. In other news, it was also great to finally see Frida back in public last week on Friday. She was in London and she was together with the Voyage producers Svana Gisla and Bailey Walsh. They were pictured in front of Jay Shiki, an iconic restaurant in London, serving seafood, fish and oysters. Meanwhile, Benny sent a message to Ice the Side. We knew that he is working on a new studio album with his band, which would be the first full-length studio album by Benny Anderson's orchestra since 2016. The new music was recorded this year in spring and was supposed to be released sometime very soon in the autumn. However, Benny now informed Ice the Side that the new music is postponed and will probably be released next year in spring. That would be around the time when we celebrate ABBA's 50th anniversary of winning Eurovision. And finally, here comes one of my favorite chapters, basically a brand new format, the Diary of Björn Jolveus. Last week we talked about Björn's brand new official Instagram channel, the one and only. And by now, I realize that he is keeping us informed about all kind of activities almost on a daily basis. So much so that we can really put together a diary chronicle. So let's see what Björn was up to since last week. On Tuesday and Wednesday he was in Cologne, Germany. Already last week I suspected that it might be Björn's partner who initiated his brand new Instagram and who is giving us these exclusive insights. I now learned from an article that Björn's surprise appearance in Cologne, Germany after the cinema screening of ABBA the movie was actually the idea of his partner Christina Saas. ABBA the movie is actually extended to play in cinemas in two cities in Germany, Munich and Hannover, and it will also be playing in South Africa on four dates in October. Thanks to Ian Cole for this information. On Björn's Instagram, we also got the one and only footage of Björn together with George Clooney at Digital X in Cologne. You do all the singing, and I'll do all the On Thursday last week, Björn was in London for a gala performance of Mamma Mia! The Party. He was introducing new cast member Anthony Costa, doing TV promotion with him and even surprising two longtime ABBA fans for a special backstage meeting. We got to meet. On Sunday, Björn had the day off and enjoyed a beautiful kayak trip on what he called the last days of summer. And this week we got another insight into Björn's activities of his private life. He was pictured in nature again, this time picking mushrooms. I must say, 
I really love these brand new insights and all of the variety. I think for the first time ever we get an even better understanding of how Björn lives his days. He was back to business yesterday and returned to Mamma Mia the party, this time for a press event in Stockholm to announce that the show will come back to Stockholm in spring next year. It was also announced that this would be the final run of this project in Sweden and then close permanently in Sweden. Mamma Mia the party had its world premiere in 2016 in Stockholm and it was that magical night that brought together all four members of ABBA for the first time side by side in 30 years. And that's all the news for today. I hope you enjoyed these new activities of the ABBA members. Let me know what you think of seeing Frida again, of diving into Björn's diary and how excited you are for Agnetas A+. Alright, until then, hey do!